Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at a concept or a technique called rotoscoping. I know, sounds interesting, um, but it's one of the earliest techniques for special effects that's been developed. Um, and it was made most popular with the, uh, with the lightsaber, actually. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at a lightsaber clip and go ahead and work on that. So I'm in After Effects at this point, and I'm going to open a new composition. And with my composition settings, I'm going to make sure that these match my video settings, which uh, right now they actually do. So I'm going to leave them exactly as they are. And then I'm going to click OK. OK, and OK again. All right, so here's my comp. Not a whole lot going on in here right now. We're going to switch over to the Project tab so we can see everything that's in here. And now I'm going to grab my video footage. Now uh, this video footage I already did in Final Cut. So I kind of like pieced together the clips and that. And now um, I'm going to go ahead and add the actual lightsaber portion onto this. You would bring in your lightsaber clips here, drag them into your project area, let them import. And then once that's done, you're all ready to go. Okay, so now in all imported, let me drag this back over so we get full screen. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and drag this down into my comp area here. Okay, now here's the actual video here. It goes on and on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of trim this down to the, uh, the necessary portions that I need. So I'm going to get right to uh, some of the lightsaber portion and trim this down here. Let's go ahead and take this. Okay, now, if you're not seeing all of your clip, like I'm not, I'm seeing only 10 seconds right now, you could very tediously take this and cut it down and then slide it over, or just keep sliding it over like this. All right, or what you could do also is you can go up to your composition settings, like so. And then you can adjust the actual duration of the project that's showing up in there. So let's say I know that this project is a minute and 51 seconds here, so I can see all of it. Okay, and OK. Now, my little bar up here is the actual expander for the timeline, so I can see everything. Not just a few seconds, but all 1 minute 51 seconds of it. And now I can skip to the exact portion where I want to actually work on this. So let's get right up to, oh, well, he's reaching for the lightsaber, and boom. Okay, now we'll start here. This is a good place. And I'm going to trim this down. And I'm going to just go Command-Shift-D, and that's going to split my clip here. So now here's the portion that I'm working on with the lightsaber. And there's a second lightsaber. Let's go right up to the end of this clip. And before it switches, right there. So just a small segment here. All right, and I'm going to trim that down. Boom. All right, so I'm all ready now at this point. Um, I can drag this in and say, I only want to work on this. And I only want to work on this. And then I'm going to right click on that area and go trim comp to work area. Now, I only have those frames specifically. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. Let's go to about 50% so I can see all the screen that's going on here. And I get to a clip where the lightsaber is actually in here. Okay, And I'll just go to a full frame here so you can see exactly everything that's going on. So there's the lightsaber. Okay, it's obviously already extended in that, and now that I can use that as a guide to uh, to do the rotoscoping, which is going to add the animation to the lightsaber, um, give it its glow, basically. Okay, so I got my base layer of my video. Now what I want to do is add a white solid over the top of it. So I'm going to go up to Layer, New, Solid. Make sure that it's on white. Just drag it all the way over in the corner. Click OK should be the same size as my canvas and okay and there it is can't see anything so I want to add a layer layer mask onto this I'm going to click the eyeball over here so that the white solid is gone but it is still selected over here now I'm going to grab the pen tool and with the pen tool I'm going to grab all the edges of the lightsaber And I'm just doing this really quick here. You get the idea. Now, before I go any further here, I want my mask to actually follow the lightsaber. 
So I'm going to go ahead and expand the white solid layer, and I'm going to go to Mask, expand that, expand Mask 1, and now on every one of these, I'm going to go ahead and click the stopwatch. That way, it's going to follow it all the way through, all the feathering will apply, everything. Okay, now I'm ready to go to the next frame. So all the way over on the right side here in the preview area, I click Next Frame. In the next frame, you can see that the lightsaber moves ever so slightly, and this is where the tedium comes in. I'm going to go ahead and go around all of the edges here as closely as possible. Okay, next frame, do the same thing, just make my little adjustments. And this is where the frame-by-frame -frame process of rotoscoping comes in. Imagine when, in the days when people actually used to hand animate this. That's amazing. So, I get all the edges around here. And doing as quick of a job as I can here, just for a few frames so you get the idea. One more frame will be good. Okay, now notice that my mask is actually going up into my... Uh, my letterbox area there, that's fine. I'm going to reapply the letterbox at the end anyway, so I just have to make sure that the mask is all the way up into the letterbox so it's consistent all the way through. Um, you may not have the letterbox on here, and it was silly of me to put it on because it's one of the last things you should put on. So here we are. I've got a few frames, about six frames of uh, frame by frame. You can see how it follows here. Okay, and you notice the moment you get into frames where it's not there, I have to go ahead and adjust that. So um, I can go back to any of these frames at any time and make adjustments just to make sure that it looks good. It doesn't look like a whole lot yet, so let's go ahead and click the eyeball. And now we can see the white solid that's actually sitting over the top of this as I go frame by frame. Okay, yeah, pretty cool. All right, now... Let's go ahead and get to the whole process of actually making this look like a lightsaber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just compress everything here. I'm on my white solid layer, and what I want to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-D. And um, I go ahead and duplicate it again, and one more time. So now I've got four layers of the white solid here. Okay, And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose this. So with the top one selected, I'm going to hold shift and select them all here. All right, and then I can right-click on them and I can go to pre-compose. What that's doing is basically just uh, putting these all into their separate little work area here. So I can go in there and tweak it without it affecting anything else in my project. So I've got it all pre-comped now. And uh, let's go ahead and go into that. So I'm going to double-click on my pre-comp and I see my four layers. Okay, I'm going to start with the top one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some feathering here, and it's going to be incremental feathering. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. And I'm going to the mask, and in the mask area is where I'm actually going to, uh, to feather this out. Okay, so I go ahead and go to the feather, and we're going to go for the first one, uh, let's say uh, just uh, f five pixels. Okay, and then I go ahead and close that. I'm going to go to the second one, go to my mask, okay, and I'm going to um, expand the first one here. I'm not sure why I have so many masks on here, okay, and I'm going to put this out to uh, 15, okay, and these numbers you can go ahead and toy around with, but they, they work pretty well with these settings. Go to the mask again, and let's go ahead and add on 30, okay, and that back and the last mask at the very bottom is going to be the biggest biggest of the masks so let's go ahead and put that up to 60 and boom there we go and we're going to add on one more layer that's actually going to help us see all the color so I'm going to go into the layers again and I'm going to go to new and I'm going to go to solid and this time I'm going to make sure that this is all the way over into one of the bottom right or left corners to get the black solid Click OK. Make sure it's the same size as your canvas. We go to OK. All right, now take that layer and drag it all the way to the bottom so it hides behind all of those. And it's going to just help us see the colors on the other mode here. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and close my pre-comp, go back over to the comp area. And in the pre-comp area now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mode of all this. So I'm going to go over to where it says mode and normal. And I'm going to switch that up to screen 
Now if you're not seeing the mode here, you can always right click on the actual layer and you can go into the modes from there. Okay, so uh, I gotta see where this is, somewhere on here, blending mode. And now I can go in here and change it also this way. So if you're not toggled to the right setting here, that's what you can do. Now, still no color on my lightsaber, but it's a nice glow. We're getting the effect that's coming along. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to effects and presets. And you can do this one of two ways. You can search for it by going just color balance. And I'm just going to grab the first one that pops up. And I'm going to drag that onto my pre-comp area here, okay? which is up right now. So we'll go ahead and drag that on there. Now, depending on what you want for lightsaber, if we're going to go like Sith Lord or something like that, we'd go to all the reds. We go ahead and drag those up. You can see the little bit of red starting to come into it. That's just on the shadows. Now on the midtones, and now on the actual highlights here, we bring in the red. You adjust these to your liking, and then we're going to click on Preserve Luminosity on this one. And you see that it tunes it down, and we've got this nice red lightsaber. Okay, I only keyed a few of the five frames, but as I go through this here, you can see that it's following my lightsaber along. Okay and I can go through all those steps. Now this is your chance once you get all of the masking done to tweak a few of the areas. So if there's something that isn't following exactly the way you want, you go ahead and make your adjustments on that now before you get any further in this. Okay, That's a really quick down and dirty version of the lightsaber. Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Red Hawk Media.